Hi, uh, this is Gary and uh, Becky Gentry. We're the founders of Hope House Detroit. We, we started attending the church up on the corner and really wanted to be involved in the community. And so we bought this house on Marlboro Street. Well, our vision statement is to encourage and accompany children and young people toward their potential within the context of their community and their families. My name is Jessica Brown, and I am the Assistant Director at Hope House Detroit. Hi, my name is Zeke Kessner, and I'm a volunteer with Hope House Detroit. Hi, my name is Riley Chowning, and I am the uh, director of Hope House Detroit. Um, the purpose for me, really, when I, so I went, I did social work in school, I studied social work, and when I was doing that and decided to go into social work, I really just wanted to come alongside people and help other people in whatever way I could. Hope House has made an incredible impact in my life. Um, I would say when I first came to Hope House and walked down the driveway, I thought that I would be the one making a difference or making an impact, but it has really turned out to be the other way around where I've been changed. You, know, you always have your immediate family, but Hope House is like um, extended family. So the relationships that I have here with the staff, with the neighbors in the neighborhood, with the kids, it's, it's very familiar and it's encouraging. So I have really enjoyed uh, hanging out with, um, with kids that have all this energy and all this life um, and that love to have fun and that, and that kind of bring that uh, to, to our interactions. It's been difficult. I mean, we're so, so much about what we are is like gathering people. One of our mottos or what we say is we want to walk together, talk together, play together, and pray together. And the ideas there are, they all involve being together. And so when we're not together, it's hard. Because we can't do the in-person things like everybody else. One of the main things we did is called Bags of Hope. And we just put fun things in a bag and take them to kids' houses. And, and then that gives us an excuse to stand and talk for a little bit. At, you know, in a mask six feet apart. But probably the most effective thing we've been able to do.